right now to that rescue mission for the missing Titanic tourist sub that's now in its final hours. And if it's still intact, officials calculate breathable air will run out right around 7 a.m. And despite reports of noise in the water, there's been no sign of the vessel with the five men on board. News Force Ida Siegel live in the newsroom with more on that desperate search underway in an area, Ida, that's actually twice the size of Connecticut. Yeah, that's right, Natalie. And, you know, the Coast Guard tonight adamant that this is still very much a search and rescue mission, meaning they are hoping to find the crew alive. That said, they would have to make a lot of progress in a very short period of time to make that happen. But no one is ready to give up hope just yet. These are the Canadian sonar buoys that officials say have picked up unusual noises in the water, both yesterday and today. Areas of ocean where those noises are detected have become focal points for the search and rescue crews. Still, no sign of the sub yet. The noises have been described as banging noises, uh, but again, they have to put the whole picture together in context and they have to eliminate uh, potential man-made sources other than the Titan. Banging noises could also come from heavy ship traffic or even fish and whales, but they're moving forward in case those sounds are coming from Titan. Richard Garriott is the president of the Explorers Club on the Upper East Side and close friends with Hamish Harding, who is on board the missing submersible. And honestly, it's been a bit of an emotional roller coaster, but we're we're all so focused on figuring out a way to get these people up off that bottom. Though stored oxygen is set to run out at around 7 in the morning, Garriott thinks the five men on board could survive past that point. They will know the right thing to do in this case. And that right thing to do is to stretch your life support as much as possible. So they'll all be resting uh, so they have burned the fewest calories, consumed the least oxygen. Uh, by the way, it's also very cold down there that on the one hand, you know, is also a health threat, but it will also depress your physiology to the point where you'll consume less, less resources like oxygen. The Titan submersible is roughly the size of a minivan. According to OceanGate, there's room for five people, but only one person can stretch their legs at a time. There is a bathroom with a privacy curtain on board and crews usually have sandwiches and water for a six to eight hour trip. This trip has lasted four days. And more criticism today for Titan's owner, OceanGate. Discovery Channel host Josh Gates tweeted, ultimately, I walked away from a huge opportunity to film Titanic due to my safety concerns with the OceanGate platform. I don't think I'll be able to sleep unless yeah. we get some positive news. Mohammed Hashim is a close friend of British Pakistani passenger Shahana Dewu and his son, Suleiman. I'm just watching TV for the last 48 hours and just keeping my fingers crossed and still have a hope that he will come back. Inshallah, Allah will make some miracle happen and he will make it. Rescuers now working for that miracle. This is a search and rescue mission, 100 percent. We are smack dab in the middle of search and rescue and uh, and uh, we'll continue to put every available asset that we have in an effort to to find the Titan and the crew members. And there's more happening. A French deep dive robot was arriving on site this evening, and 10 additional ships are on track to arrive tomorrow. It will be down to the wire. Again, oxygen set to run out around 7 a.m., but they are racing around the clock with the hope of finding these men alive. Reporting live from the newsroom, Ida Siegel, News 4, New York.